Hello and welcome to the Eugene Torto YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, do me a favor, go down there, subscribe, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, leave comments, all that good stuff, share. That'll help my channel grow. I'm trying to become uh, become monetized. I'll pay for all this stuff. And I'm also super clean. It's having a free giveaway by my channel. To enter, just subscribe. That automatically enters you. And uh, the end of April, uh, probably last day of April, I'll pick the winner via random number generator. And uh, what you'll win is... One bottle of their super clean aerosol and one bottle of their uh, regular spray uh, cleaner. Both great products. Did a lot of cleaning with them over the uh, winter. Uh, and they work great. But uh, anyway, getting back to this video. I am going to be doing... Taking off my uh, target top. And the reason I'm taking that off is I'm going to get finish up some of the interior items. One thing I want to do is the halo. That's probably going to be the biggest pain in the butt. And uh, that one's all cracked and chipped and everything. I got another one. I got a used one cheap. It's uh, not 100% perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than that one. It was beige. I recolored it. And uh, it looks a hell of a lot better than that. So I'll uh, get to working on that. off and if you're wondering why I'm taking it off it's because of like chipped ends like that and brakes like that and general like that and big floppy brakes like that and uh, even though I refinished this in the past it's already I don't, well quite some time ago actually I've had this car for a while it's looking it could definitely use a even if it wasn't cracking it could definitely use a good cleaning or a refinish and the other half's no better now there are differences in the halos i call this the, i don't know what they exactly they call this but the, i always refer to the part of the car that goes over the top that holds the hatch hinge end uh, up on there and all that that's always referred to as the halo and i always call this the halo trim i guess that's what you call it uh but uh, i got the other one in the basement it's slightly different it's like right here the little hooks there's a little hook on the passenger side if anyone ever wonders what that hook is for let me see if i can get it yeah, this little hook here is actually for hanging like your uh, a jacket or a hanger or whatever. Believe it or not, that's what it's for. On the one I got for it, I forgot what year it's off of. This is like molded into it instead of screwed to it. So that's a little different. Hopefully it'll fit right everywhere else. So I guess I'll find out here shortly. Okay, I don't know if you, if you guys could see this. I just came back from the basement where these were at. These are the ones I'm replacing it with. Uh... Maybe you guys can see that, but it's kind of odd because it says, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says use for 91 models and after, and then below that says use for 90 models and before. I'm not sure what that means. That means it's good for all years? I don't know. Or maybe this X being next to it. Oh, I get it. This here, this hole here might be for the 90 models and before. And this hole here might be for 91 and up. If that's true, this ain't going to fit. Because this hole's in the wrong place. I could drill a hole here and maybe fill that in. But the only one way to find out is to fit it. So I guess I'm going to find out. But uh, I think... Uh, when I matched it up to this one, it matched. Let's see. 
I know it's the wrong side. Yep, that's the problem. I didn't realize that. So we all learned something. And uh, you can see this was beige at one time. I hope you guys can see that. And that means I need to either drill a hole in this one right here and then fill that in. I might just leave it for now and put a plug there or something. I don't know. Let me put it in there and see how it looks. But uh, if you're wondering what that hole is for, if you're wondering what this hole is for, that's for the seat belt. So the seat belt location upper seat location is different from 91 and up i did not know that well we know now unfortunately now well, let me see what i can do okay i drilled another hole i went smaller than the original hole and if you look at the original hole it's kind of oblong but i just decided to go smaller if i have to i'll dress it up with a dream of motor tool if you're wondering why i didn't just put these aside and maybe try and sell them on ebay well one thing i already recoded them they were beige and now they're the gray and uh you know this is a 200 and over 225,000 miles on this vet i think it's 226 227 but uh if this was a low mileage pristine corvette and i needed to just replace the halo i would have probably either popped for a new one i think they still make new ones whether they fit right or not is another story or uh try and find a good one for the correct year but uh 220,000 mile over 226,000 miles I think it is I forgot but it's over that and uh I might as well uh just do this and I'll put something there like I said I'll come up with something to plug that maybe at a later date I'll, I'll take it off and fill it and all that stuff and then repaint it uh I don't know if I'm gonna go through that all that trouble for now I'll see how it looks when I get it in there if it's something that's barely noticeable I'm not gonna worry about it too much but I'll get it in and we'll see how it looks It's a good laugh. Uh, I got it pretty much all together, and then I realized something when I went to go put the seat belt in. I forgot to drill the hole on this side, so I need to drill that other hole. And if you can look on the other side, I got that on, and from here you can't see that other hole because the seat belt covers it. So that's a good thing. Uh, I did pick these up really cheap. If you're wondering, uh, wondering about them, I got them like. I forgot what it was it was cheap and uh, I'm glad I got them and I so I'm gonna go ahead and take this side off again and drill that other hole like I should have so I don't know I'm just laughing at it because that's about all I can do so anyway back to work Okay, the halo is on. Uh, 
ran into a little glitch where I got it all in, besides the other glitches, like the holes and stuff. Uh, got Went to go put the last screw in, it wouldn't stay in. I tried a bigger screw, it still wouldn't stay, and I ended up replacing the blind nut with a new one. Uh, I ended up having to drop. I basically just took most of the screws holding the top part up and pushed it down. I was able to get it out. And uh, while I was doing that, I got a phone call informing me that the my new tires are in. So, my new tires are in. And uh, so I ran out, got them in. I actually just left the top off. It's a really nice day out except for the wind which is why i have the garage door closed but it's sunny out and uh and partly sunny partly cloudy it's really nice and uh it was a nice day for driving except for that really strong wind uh and of course while i was out getting the tires weather tech showed up so i got this weather tech uh cargo liner and uh I like it so far. Uh, see how it is driving down the road. It's not a stiff plastic. It's like a, a stiff rubbery, I guess, plastic. It forms in there real nice so far. And uh, when you take it out of the box, it's all in a roll. I thought I was going to have to put a bunch of weight on it to hold it in place. But once I got it in there, that's, that's how it fits and looks. I like it. The only bad thing is it does cover the hatches. Uh, so if you need to take the open up the hatches it ain't really no big deal you could just fold the thing back and lift the hatches i almost never go in and out of my hatches uh i do keep my fire extinguisher back there uh, i'll have to find a new home for this because i want it accessible so i'll put it behind the seat or somewhere maybe i don't know do something that it won't be rattling around back there uh but uh yeah, it's in. You can't really see those other holes. You really have to look to see them that I drilled in there. So I'm happy about that. I don't know if you guys can see them. Just looking from here, but maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. Get another view from the other side. Uh, definitely with the seats up, you definitely can't. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. It's a hell lot better than that the one that was falling apart and cracked and chipped and everything else so hopefully that'll hold up for a while because i sure don't want to spring for a new one and uh all i have to say is uh thanks for watching uh stop by or hit the subscription uh, button and the notification bell and uh i'll be giving a review of not just these tires these michelins but all the previous tires i've had on this car before these are the fourth set and I'll share my experiences with them. Uh, I guess that's it for today. Everybody have a good day and God bless.